Athletes, friends, what's going on? Brianne Schoen here, physical therapist and performance coach. Get your fix physical therapy and performance. And I have a story for you, but first I wanna ask, have you ever quit on a workout? Whether it's for just like mentally gave up or physically couldn't do it. Have you ever quit on a workout? And I can tell you that I have. It was five, six, maybe seven years ago, probably about six years ago, actually. And I want to say just because you like stopping during a workout doesn't make you weak. It doesn't make you a quitter. It actually can be one of the strongest things you do for yourself. And I wanted to share my story with you. So like I said, this was probably five, six years ago. During a workout, kettlebell swings, I don't remember what other movement it was, but I just remember kettlebell swings because that is what made me say I'm done. Um, but it was high reps every round, and I got to a point that I knew if I, like, I it wasn't just muscle soreness and fatigue from the workout. It was, I could potentially injure myself if I continue going right now. And if it's just, because it's just a workout, like that's not worth an injury. If it was in competition, absolutely. I would continue pushing because of its competition, but training sessions aren't the time to push through and potentially injure yourself. From that experience, I started thinking about what I was doing wrong. Like I know that Exercises should not cause pain. Yes, muscle fatigue, yes, soreness, all of these things, but nothing exercise-wise should legitimately cause pain or create injury. So I knew I was doing something wrong. So that's when I kind of started a um, kind of search into myself of what my movement patterns were, what I could potentially be doing wrong, how do I correct that? And that's when I start, really started figuring out what I was doing wrong with my movement patterns in not only kettlebell swings, which is what flared me up, but also my Olympic lifts and my squats and my deadlifts and everything that at that time had been aggravating my back with movements. And, and I finally just got to that point that I've, it clicked in my head, like this isn't right, this isn't normal. And I know it seems when you talk to people that you train with, um, I know I hear it all the time at the gym and with other people that their backs flare up with different activities and it seems totally normal, but that's not totally normal. Yes, to have soreness and that sort of thing is, but having the actual pain and like almost that muscles on fire type sensation is not normal. And if you're experiencing that, it's definitely time to figure out what you're doing with your movement patterns to correct that. Once I started diving into what I was doing and corrected that, this, um, I've never had an issue again with that. I've never had to stop during a workout. Um, I've never like really had any issues with my back again because I'm feeling it in the right places. I'm moving properly, so I avoid that. So I um, want to encourage you with two things here. One, during workouts, if you're ever feeling pain, that's not normal. Stop what you're doing to search to figure out how you can correct that going forward. Because ultimately stopping is going to one, decrease your risk of injury, but two, it's going to make you a stronger person because the fact that you are willing to actually stop doing something says a lot more about you than trying to push through and just grunt through it even though that probably isn't the best thing for you. And if you are dealing with movement pattern issues, if you're experiencing pain during it, then I highly encourage you to seek out someone to help you to figure out why you are experiencing those issues. Because like I said, pain during working out is not normal. So if you're consistently getting something while you're doing certain movements, definitely something's wrong. Definitely something needs to be looked into for how you're moving, how you can correct that. So. That's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Thoughts, feedback, comments, would love to hear anything you have to say. Post those below. Have an awesome rest of your day, guys, and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.